BTEC Applied Science, AAQ. What is that? Alternative Advanced Qualification, AAQ. Uh, in 2025, lots of big, big changes to an awful lot of BTECs. Uh, and to BTEC Applied Science, we've gone from the old specification to a new one, which is called AAQ. Now, what you need to do is ask your teacher, am I doing the AAQ or am I doing the old BTEC? If you're not sure, ask your teacher. Uh, and if you don't know, ask your teacher. Now, probably if you started the course in 2024, uh, which for me doing this video now is last year, then you're probably doing the old BTEC. So right now you're in your second year of the old BTEC, the extended national, yeah? Now, if you started your course in 2025, then you're most definitely probably doing the AAQ. But as I said, check. Now, I'm doing this video because my YouTube channel is, at the moment, it's very, very much for the old BTEC. And I've started to update it, but it's going to take a while to do. So be careful. Anything for the new one, for the AAQ, I've tried to make it obvious that it is for the AAQ. Okay? Now, the old BTEC extended certificate, you had unit one, uh, which was a bit of biology, chemistry and physics, and you did like uh, exams at the end in the hall. Uh, unit two was assignments. You had to do these assignments and it's pass merit distinction. They were internally assessed. You had to meet deadlines. Uh, unit three was all about skills. Uh, that was an external exam. Uh, and then there was an optional unit which was internally assessed. That's the old BTEC. Now, the new one is very different, the AAQ. There's unit one is lots of biology. Unit two is lots of chemistry. Unit three is lots of physics. Okay, the, I, I do think that the AAQ is a bit harder. Yeah, uh, if they're going to justify it being equivalent to A levels and the same UCAS points, then the, they've made it a lot more rigorous. Unit one, two and three uh, are externally assessed. They are exams in the hall. Then we have unit four, uh, which is called practical procedures and techniques. And then there's unit five or six, and they are optional. Which one you do uh, will probably be up to your teacher which one you do. And that is internally assessed. Four and five are internally assessed. Unit four uh, is very, very similar to unit two. So you've got your assignments, you're given these assignments to do, uh, and for each one it's a pass or a merit or a distinction. And it's things like colorimetry and titration. Uh, yeah, if, you, if you're familiar, if you're a teacher and you're familiar with the old BTEC, you know what I'm talking about, yeah? These assignments. Uh, and then unit five or six, there's two optional units, which I'm not gonna go into at the moment. So I said lots more physics, lots more chemistry, lots more biology. I would say three times more. If you look at the, the physics, now lots of physics, A, B and C. A is what there was on the old BTEC. Uh, and I can't see any differences there. It's So the videos that I've done for A is kind of, you know, for unit one on the old BTEC all stuff to do with waves and optical fibers and digital stuff and communication with waves. Uh, and all of that was in the old unit one. But then you've got B, which is lots of mechanics. Uh, and some of that's pretty mathematical. And then you've got C, which is electricity and stuff to do with energy and changes of state. And so you see there's like three times as much physics, yes? Um, I've started doing videos for B and my next job will be doing videos for C. So I've made a good start on updating the physics for AAQ. For A, 
you use the old videos which are there. I'll change the titles for them, uh, but you can still use them for A. I've done B, I've uploaded them. My next job is to work on C. And then I'm gonna do the chemistry and then I'm gonna do the biology. So I've got, I've got plenty to do, I've got my homework. Is there a good book? Uh, there will be a good book, a good revision guide. Um, there was a very good revision guide for the uh, the extended national. Uh, there is going to be a very good one, but it's not available till November. Uh, the college may lend you one uh, or you might have to buy your own. I don't know. Uh, but this book here will be available in November. And hopefully it will be as good as the old revision guide and basically have everything you need to know in it. So it's going to take me a while to change my channel. So bear with me. Um, if you're not sure about what course you're doing, find out uh, and all the luck, all the oh, sorry, good luck, blah, blah, blah. So let me know what you think. Uh, keep in touch. Any problems? Uh, make a comment and I always try and get back to them.